I've decided to get back to work on the Prelude, finally starting body work. And over the weekend, I went to a few junkyards to try and find a quarter panel. Now, the ones that I came across were off of an 88, 89 model. And while they would still work for this, they ended up having some damage. I didn't end up getting one. And I think what I'm going to do, I still want to get one, but I want to go through and I want to assess the replacement that was done and take the sander, sandpaper, and just kind of go around the full edges of this quarter panel and see really where this thing was stitched together and what I'm going to need to do to line things back up whenever I do replace this one. So, I'm gonna get to Although I didn't get a quarter panel, I was able to pick up some of the small pieces. Like a fuse panel cover that's not painted red, and the non-ABS brake lines, unpainted side mirrors, rear window trim, one of the door gasket slash weather seals, and the large plastic door trim. And here I've got the other bits I already had laid out with these new ones. I'd like to grab an unpainted wiper nozzle cowl, or I'll need to paint this one. I'll have to paint the other trim pieces anyway, like the windshield trim. I didn't get the rubber gasket for this mirror. It was in bad shape, I'll need to keep an eye out for that. But the mirror was good. I have all three of the door gasket seal guys. They aren't perfect, but they aren't painted either. This door trim, like the wiper cowl, could be painted, but I'd prefer to start fresh with them. Why paint the rubber? I don't get that. I get the door trim if that's your taste or your style, but I don't get painting the rubber. The door handles work, but again, I need to look for the rubber gasket. These quarter trims are hard to replace. They're hard to take off without breaking, but I'm gonna try anyway. I didn't get the passenger door trim. Both the ones at the junkyard were trashed. And I've got the same situation on the handle. I need the rubber piece. All three seals for the passenger side. And the sunroof rubber is actually attached to the glass, which is busted. And luckily, I have a replacement for that already. Just look at the excellent quality paint here.
Now this mirror did have a better condition rubber seal with it. Notice how low the front is compared to the rear. This handle is broken, but does still open the door. I have no words for this. So I'm looking for paint bubbling or any visible rust. as these are the most likely places to find the welds from the repair. I'm guessing it'll be very rusty under this trim. I doubt they welded here. Probably poor adhesion with the paint. This is a dead giveaway. The quarter was replaced. This VIN plate is from a different year model and doesn't match the dash or the stamp on the firewall. And the worst spot. Water and debris collects in these rockers and will rust welds very quickly. more bubbled paint unlikely that it's welded he under here Ugh. Why go through the trouble of quarter panel replacement and leave this ugly damage? It looks to have been this way before they painted it. I'm sure there's bad welds under this trim. Another trapped water spot. And I bet the weld is down low on the pillar too. Well, no guessing here, you can actually see the welds. And one of the worst parts, the trunk lid is actually open and look how close it is on the passenger side. And now the driver's side. I have to force the lid down to get it to close or look close, which actually causes the lid to twist when you actually close it and makes it hard to pop open again. I guess correctly here. And another accurate guess. That's bad. Almost a hand sized hole.
and that's three for three, but pretty easy to figure out with so many clues. Last night after grinding down these spots to find the welds, which are about as bad as I expected, I went through and checked out the rest of the car and put X's, check marks, and question marks. The check marks are things that are staying on the car. The question marks are things I'm unsure of. And the X's are things that either need to be replaced, which I circled if I have the replacements, or there are things that are just going away. Um, really the only things that are just going away completely is the spoiler and the antenna. And uh, other than that, all the, all the trim needs to be replaced because it'll just be easier than trying to take down this old paint to repaint it. I can buy some trim from the junkyard and go ahead and paint that cut out just one step but starting with the quarter panel that's the worst damage on the car the next is the front end which has some some sort of damage uh, it, nothing lines up so I'm gonna have to pull that all apart and check that out and see what part of that metal is more than likely bent in and uh, once I get the quarter panel and the front end done the back section needs to be taken care of and from there it's all just regular body work uh, today i'm going to start by taking off the back bumper the front bumper and i'll probably try to take off a lot of the trim pieces for this one I got the whole front taken apart got the whole back taken apart I am eventually going to take the windshields out windshields front windshield rear window whatever I'm eventually going to take the windows out and uh, try to make sure there's no rust I do know there's some back here that's gonna have to be repaired there's a lot in the back to repair the front doesn't look bad but there's something definitely off. So I'm gonna eventually pull off all the wiring and everything. I'm just gonna do that off camera. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be really boring to put on camera. But I'm gonna pull that off and try and figure out where it's tweaked and see if I can just bend it back or if it's gonna be something that I'm gonna need to cut and replace. Um, so that's gonna do it for now. I'm gonna clean this mess up, get everything put away either set to the side to be reused or set in a pile of things that aren't coming back and uh, next time you see it I'll have a plan on fixing back here and fixing up here so thanks for watching guys